Good morning, my dear students of class four. How are you? Hope you all are well and stay your home now. So, boys, this is our second virtual class, and I am your Pekon Miss. Shall take your geography class. Boys, you all open your book, page number four, and take a pencil. So, let's start our class now. So, boys, at last class we shall. discussed the chapter 1 that is knowing our country and now we shall start this chapter page number 4 and there we shall know the states and their capital cities you all remember one thing please follow the instruction and this class i also say at first what is state and what is capital so the what is state state is defined as a territory with its own government and borders within a larger country but what is capital a state's capital is the primary city and usually the seat of the state government the most important city is the capital city so boys you first learn what is state and what is capital and if you have any problem regarding this chapter you may call me or messages through the whatsapp so boys i say one thing that i promise you that in this class i shall correct something that is you all take the pencil and open your page number 2 and there you will see the last stanzas india has 29 states and 7 union territories it is written wrong so all of you those have not latest edition they all correct this you can write down 28 states and nine union territories so boys now you turn over the page and you see the page number 4 there you also see that the states and capital and you all see those have not latest edition you all see that number 10 here is written jammu and kashmir and capital is srinagar those who have not latest edition they all cross the line jammu and kashmir not the state now it is union territories so boys you all cross the jammu and kashmir and you turn over page number 5 there you also see that union territories and capital there is written seven union territories you all get the start mark and you all write down the two union territories extra that one is jammu and kashmir so number 8 jammu and kashmir and the capitals there there is two capitals jammu in winter and srinagar in summer and number 9 is ladakh the capitals is le not capitals that is capital that is le so boys you all correct these pages so now there you see the states and capital andhra pradesh hyderabad arunachal pradesh itanagar assam dishpur bihar patna chatrisgarh raipur goa panaji gujarat gandhinagar haryana chandigarh himachal pradesh shimla jharkhand rachi karnataka bengaluru kerala tiruvananthapuram madhya pradesh bhopal and maharashtra mumbai
मणिपुर इम्फल मेघालय शिलंग मिजोराम आइजल नागालैंड कोहिमा ओडिशा भुवनेश्वर पंजाब चंडीगढ़ राजस्थान जयपुर सिक्किम गैंगटक तमिलनाडु चेन्नई त्रिपुरा आगरतला उत्तर प्रदेश लखनऊ उत्तराखंड देहरादून वेस्ट बेंगल कोलकाता एंड द लास्ट वन इज तेलंगाना हैदराबाद सो बॉयज यू ऑल सी दैट दे आर is 28 states not 29 state you must be careful for this thing and you all memorize the all states and capitals so now boys we know about what is union territory a union territory is a type of administrative division in the republic of india unlike the states of india which have their own governments union territories are federal territories governed in part or in whole by the central government of india and you can also see the map in this page there you can see at first jammu and kashmir that is written by j and k then ladakh next chandigarh then delhi next two that one is daman and diu and other one dadra and nagar haveli and next lakshadweep puducherry and andaman and nicobar so boys these are the union territories of india now you see the union territories and capitals and again i say those who have not latest edition book they all correct it the number 1 andaman and nicobar capital port blair next chandigarh chandigarh dadra and nagar haveli silvasa daman and diu daman lakshadweep kavaratti puducherry puducherry formally pondicherry national capital region of delhi delhi number 8 jammu and kashmir jammu is winter and srinagar in summer and next one is ladakh that capital is le so there are nine union territories and we have a national capital territory that is delhi and the capital of delhi is new delhi so boys you all memorized all union territories and capitals name do you know who are indians neighbor पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान नेपाल चाइना भूटान म्यानमार एंड बांग्लादेश आर इंडियस नेबर्स अलॉन्ग उथ द आईलैंड कंट्रीज ऑफ श्रीलंका एंड मालदीव द नेम इंडिया हेज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम द रिभार इंडस सो बॉयज यू ऑल रिमेम्बर वन थिंग दैट इज द इंडियन neighboring countries the name of the indian neighboring countries and you can see the map there you see pakistan china nepal bhutan bangladesh sri lanka maldives afghanistan these are our neighboring countries and one thing you can know that is island countries island country mean a country that is made up of one or more islands so sri lanka and maldives are island countries and next one the name india has been derived from the river indus so it is also memorized that the name india has been derived from the river indus a new word that is sark so what is sark the full form of the sark is the south asian association for regional cooperation it is the regional intergovernmental organization and geopolitical union of states in south asia and india and her neighboring countries pakistan bhutan नेपाल अफगानिस्तान बांग्लादेश श्रीलंका एंड मालदीव्स फॉर्म्ड द 
साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन फॉर रिजनल कोऑपरेशन ऑन एट दिसंबर 1985 सो बॉयज यू ऑल मेमोराइज that the south asian association for regional cooperation is the full form of sarc and sarc formed on 8 december 1985 and you all see in this page the logo of the sarc and the countries also that is a symbolic so sarc is the Association for Regional Cooperation. You all memorize the spelling also. Now we know about the countries and capitals. And you turn over the page six, and you can see the table in your book that is countries, capital, and official language. So number one, Bhutan capital is Thimphu, and the official language is Zonka, not D Zonka. the silent of the the pronunciation of the d is silent that is jonka nepal kathmandu and nepali pakistan islamabad urdu sri lanka colombo sinhala afghanistan kabul dari and pasto bangladesh dhaka bengali maldives mail dhivai india new delhi hindi so boys all remember this country's capital and official languages name you know the sark nations decided that they would concentrate on programs based on mutual cooperation which would contribute towards the development of the south asian region some of these programs are science and technology and meteorology agriculture and rural development transport projects concerning health and population environment and forestry women youth and children human resource development so these are the programs of the sarc for this reason sarc formed next one along with this they also concentrated on the development of information and communications technology tourism and energy so boys all of you remember one things why did the sarc form these points are included here now we know about one thing that is new term unity in diversity we all know india is a secular country so unity in diversity means that although in our country we speak different languages believe in different religions and have different culture and food habits we are united as one nation so we all know india is a one country that have different languages and the different religions people live in we have hindu muslims sikh jains so many types of religions and their cultures also different their food habits also different so unity in diversity means or uh, that although in our country we speak different languages believe in different religions and have different culture and food habits also we have many national symbols which bind us together they represent our country and every indian is proud of them one major uniting uniting force is our national anthem which was written by rabindranath tagore and we all know our national anthem is jana gana mana that is wrote it that was written by rabindranath tagore We know about the national flag of our country. So the national flag has three colors: saffron, white, and green. It has a navy blue wheel with 24 spokes placed at the center of the white strip. The saffron stripe is at the top of the flag, and it stands for great bravery or courage and sacrifice. 
the white strip stands for truth and purity the dark green strip stands for faith and fertility the navy blue wheel represents the dharma chakra or the wheel of law in fact pandit nehru indians first prime minister called it a symbol of freedom for all people so boys you all listen one thing that you all memorize the color what does it stand for and what is the represent for blue wheel so that is your national flag know about the national flower national bird and national animals so the national flower of india is the lotus the beautiful peacock is the national bird of india it is a colorful bird with fan like feathers you also see the picture also and next one is our national animal is the tiger it has a thick yellow coat of fawn with dark stripes so you all remember these lessons very carefully